I'm going to entitle this video right here, Is It Me? Because um, I'm sure that a lot of you can look and see and see that I'm a somewhat of an aged man. And of course, a lot of times, a lot of experience come with age men. But just because they're way, you know, just because they're age does not always mean that they are wise. Remember that, okay? Don't ever make the mistake because someone has some gray hair on their face or in their head, or on top of their head, that uh, that makes them a man of wisdom. You know, some well, some people, it's just that they've been able to live long. Uh, not that they applied themselves to learning or not that they have, you know, learned anything, Lord to the King. So, here we go. All right. My brothers and sisters, this is where we're at. With the way that society is going at the breakneck speed of uh, moral decay and spiritual bankruptcy, I know I cannot be the only one that looks out into the future. That's what mostly men do. Women mostly think about the here and now, but a real man, he usually looks out into the future. I'm not too confident at all. And I just don't have a lick of confidence at all for the next generation that's coming behind us, especially the generation that we're in right now. I mean, think about this majority of people that actually call lawmakers today and a lot of this fabric that's going on today uh, and the social ills of society believe it or not it actually comes from either my generation or within a decade afterwards think about that for a second this moral decay this spiritual bankruptcy comes from that particular source. And I'm trying to figure out how in the world did we lose our way? And besides all that, listen, if you want to know more about what I'm speaking about to keep you up with uh, social, political, and economic perspectives and point of view, you may want to consider coming over and joining my Patreon channel. I got a description down below because uh, we be hot and heavy over on Patreon. At least over on Patreon, I don't have to worry about being censored. And if I have anything that's really too hot and heavy, uh, I don't even use certain platforms to upload the videos. I make sure I use a paid sus a subscription uh, so that way I'm not censored by whatever I say and believe to be true whatsoever at all. But I'm telling you, man, when I look at this generation and I look at this society and the world that we're in right now, I I'm telling you, I don't have a lick of confidence for the way that the world is going. And especially when you look at what's happening up in New York, they're making the news almost every single day. And I can only imagine in how many other places that they're making news and it's just not being reported on. You know, they went from illegal immigrants to migrants um, to people who just trying to find the American dream, according to Eric Adams, you know, the governor uh, of New York. And I just tell you, man, the mindset of these people is just literally off of the proverbial chain. But do you really truly have any confidence that your children and your children's children are actually gonna be in a safe world? I mean, the whole purpose of me actually living out in the country, living set apart and homeschooling our children is so that they can stay away from some of these wicked, evil influences and, and not have things inter introduced to their minds that shouldn't be. It also gives us the opportunity to make sure that we, instead of the government or the federal school curriculum shaping their minds and, and then them going out there and being exposed to every other influence based on what fathers and mothers are sold up on their children and, and, and try to determine, you know, speaking through their children, what is considered to be morally right and morally wrong. I, 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 I can't do that. I am going to be the one to sow morals and values in our children and including the people that's in the ministry here because society can't be trusted. Look at the alternative, people. Is this really truly, do we even really truly have an alternative today when we look and see the decay that is going on? Who in the world is going to care for these children? 
if you ever have held a baby in your hand and you have ever expelled, you know, if you ever felt extreme love go out of you, virtue go out of you because of holding a child and you really truly care about their future, there's no way that you can have them associated with the people of this world. There's no way that you in good conscience can put them into the public food system and let them get dumped down to an unprecedented level and not only that, come back with a spirit of rebellion and kick up and fight up and buck up against you that actually make sure that they got uh, clothes on their back, food in their mouth, shoes on their feet, and a roof over their head. That's the type of society we're living in. I'm telling you, you have got to separate from the people of this world. you got to. You ain't got no choice. Because if you don't, whatever you consider to be morally right and morally wrong, uh, those days are quickly gone away. There's literally today no absolutes in America. There's nothing that's considered absolute. I'm trying to figure out how in the hell do you arrest someone when everybody's doing that which is right in their own eyes? How, how do you even indict someone? I mean, based on what, laws on the book? I mean, you go up to New York right now, you got these migrants, that's what they call them, they're stealing stuff out of the store and going right around the corner selling it at, at um, wholesale prices, making a living. Not only that, they're beating up old people, beating up police officers. I mean, wow. And you gotta understand, you bring in a bunch of people over here in this country, Joe Biden, that ain't civilized. They don't understand the rules of civilization. They haven't been reared and raised this way. And so they're bringing their culture over here and they're defining and changing the American culture. That's the reason why people keep talking Trump, 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 because we've experienced America under Trump. And now we've experienced American America under Joe Biden. And right now, it definitely ain't looking good. As a matter of fact, even the left and even the Democrats are turning on Joe Biden. Nobody's got nothing to say for that man that don't even know if he's coming or going. The man is senile, <laughs> literally senile. So the real question is, is there's two of them. Who in the world is really running this country? And why aren't the Democratic Party trying to move to put downtown Willie Brown Kamala Harris in office. I mean, after all, she is the vice president. She seems to have a little bit of cognitive function up there. So why ain't they pushing for her? I'll tell you the reason why, because they don't have a lick of confidence in her. It's like, man, we're, we're better off with Joe Biden than we are with Kamala Harris. We would rather deal with Biden uh, not coming and, and not knowing where he's going and and, and, and not knowing he's saying and speaking to dead people and falling off stages and falling up ramps and, and falling off bikes. And I'm telling you, we would much rather him not know his left from his right and deal with all that and the public shame that, and the ridicule that comes from it than to actually have Kamala Harris as the head and the commander in chief of the United States of America. Now, you know things are really bad then. Democrats try to so called. <clears throat> create diversity by having the first woman uh, the first <clears throat> African American which I'm still trying to figure out what the hell that is I'm not even so sure that she's even that but even at that it, you know it's bad off it's amazing how all these designations change every decade concerning the melanated people but man I'm telling y'all if you're going to preserve your family line and your sanity you had better listen to what Pastor Dow is saying. You better get your children away from these chaotically insane people in society. I'm telling you, you better start limiting where you go. And I'm getting ready to talk about something. And immediately after this video on Patreon is very important.